NCIS has been going on for years now. It's been a long time. In that time, we've had over 16 seasons of the show. Yes, that many. It's really crazy. But over time, fans have started to notice things that really make no sense at all. So what are some of these moments? Well, stay tuned to today's video, as we're going to discuss NCIS plot holes that fans have noticed that make no sense. First up, we have unexpected twists and turns. Fans who pay attention to the series will notice some of the smallest things that others might not. Over the long period of time that NCIS has been on our screens, some have noticed some major character flaws with the most popular character Gibbs. Gibbs has his own character with his specific traits. One is the constant things coming out of his past. We always see people from Gibbs' past appear on the show. From ex-partners to old friends, we're always on the lookout for a new person to join the list. When a character by the name of Tobias appears in an early season of NCIS, neither Gibbs or Tobias recognize one another and seem to have never met before. One huge plot hole comes in down the line when it's revealed that Tobias and Gibbs share an ex-wife and should know one another from this connection. However, the writers seemingly didn't remember the two not knowing one another and they forgot about it all. Fans noticed this and it's a pretty big plot hole in an otherwise amazing character. What do you think about this one? Let us know in the comments section below. And now we have a keyboard mishap. When it comes to technology in TV shows, sometimes things don't really add up to how they act in real life. This is especially true in the famous television and movie hacking sequences. They always seem to make out that hacking is this ultra quick and intense thing, whereas in reality it's a slow process with lots of skill involved. If you took these shows for reality, you would think that just smacking a keyboard would hack into almost anything. Here in NCIS we have an interesting moment where fans pointed out where Abby is hacking into something to find another hacker. Here she is hacking with a two monitor setup, which isn't out of the ordinary. However, instead of just hacking like normal, for some reason the producers decided that her one keyboard would hack on both screens. While it isn't out of the ordinary to have two monitors on one keyboard, one keyboard working on both at the same time just isn't a thing. This was a technology mishap that really went over their heads. Though it's small, these scenes always take people out of the show. What do you think about this technology mishap? Let us know down in the comments section below. Next up is a changed shot. While dealing with flashbacks, things always seem to go wrong in shows. These usually happen when a flashback needs to be reshot or changed for the purpose of the story later down the line. There was an incident with NCIS that fans pointed out where a flashback was changed to fit what was going on in a later season. Early on in the series, we had flashbacks of Gibbs killing Pedro Hernandez with a sniper rifle. In the original shot, Gibbs took him out with a bullet through a window mirror coming from the front of the vehicle and into his forehead. However, later on in the series, we had this scene change. In season 7, the flashback was referred to and we saw an altered version of this scene. In a recollection of the events, we saw the bullet hit Hernandez in the left side of his head and not in the forehead. Though it wasn't a major thing, dedicated fans were angered by the change. It's a simple thing to do, but clearly the producers messed up along the way of their detailed production. Now it's a time mishap, and our final NCIS plot hole comes from the NCIS narrators and writers forgetting what really went on in the past of the series. If a show sets down that something happened, then they need to abide by it. Otherwise, fans are going to point out that the scene is wrong or makes no sense at all. NCIS had established that Kelly died long before Gibbs joined the NCIS. However, during a flashback, we get to see Gibbs and Kelly working together on a boat. The main plot hole here is that she was already dead before he went and joined the NCIS. We also see that in the flashback, Gibbs has gray hair. Whilst the character is known for his gray hair, he once had black hair, which they had already established. In this scene, Gibbs should have had his black hair, but they seemingly didn't care about that detail on the day. This was a pretty annoying one for fans, as it showed just how careless the production team started getting, and it really showed the decline of the show over the years. Though it's small to many, some fans were just annoyed by this inclusion. What do you think about it? Let us know down in the comments section below. And now we have some other NCIS news. First up we have, the NCIS Los Angeles star is on Instagram, fueling rumors about the show ending soon. Though the NCIS fan base is still pretty strong, overall they aren't the biggest anymore. Over the years, the shows have seemingly dwindled in quality. The original series is the one with the most hits, because the vast majority of the original cast have departed the show over the last few years. Even now, we have seen Gibbs finally leave the show. The spin-off series have always been pretty popular as well. From NCIS New Orleans to NCIS Los Angeles, they have always had a pretty high viewer count with each episode that aired on television. However, when news came out early last year that NCIS New Orleans would be cancelled after its seven season run, fans were scared for the other shows. They always knew that a show like NCIS wasn't as popular anymore and therefore could be cut at any point, but actually seeing it happen really concerned many people. The big 
biggest actor in the other spin-off series, NCIS Los Angeles, is Eric Christian Olsen. He really carries the series, but from a cryptic message on his Instagram page, he might be leaving the series altogether. During an Instagram post on New Year's Eve, he posted an image of himself on the set of the current season, but the hashtags below it really riled up fans. Rather than having some simple hashtags to promote the image, the actor chose some very specific ones. Amongst the few were hashtag final season, and this is what scared fans. Though nothing has been really said about this season of NCIS Los Angeles being its final one, now fans are assuming that an announcement will come in the next few months as the series wraps up filming. Before all the fans began spiraling out of control, he later clarified that he was only joking. But you never know as well. He clearly messed up and needed to cover his back. But at the end of the day, no one will be surprised now if the series actually does come to an end. It seems like the structure of an NCIS series, an episode by episode, just isn't what people want to watch anymore. Because most NCIS series were on for at least a decade now, their structure really hasn't changed all too much. Viewers aren't wanting a show like that anymore, so viewership is dwindling. Though NCIS will stand as one of the most popular television series of all time, nowadays they just don't cut it anymore. People want a different type of show because of Netflix binging and streaming. Sadly, it looks like the age of NCIS domination is coming to an end, but it was great while it lasted. What do you think of this? Let us know down in the comments section below. Finally, we have NCIS is heading to Sydney as it gets its first international spin-off series. Though the current series of NCIS seems to be coming to an end, it looks like a new series for a completely different audience is finally being made. We're getting an Australian version of NCIS that seems to be coming sometime in 2023. We don't know the cast of this upcoming series just yet, but it looks like Paramount Plus and Network 10 will be heading the casting and of course the production. From what we know about the series thus far, they will be casting Australian talent and telling Australian stories within the series. That's just great. A breath of fresh air for NCIS will be great. Behind the scenes, the executive producer of the original NCIS and the creator of NCIS Los Angeles will both be heading up the project, which is great to see. You can already tell that this series is going to be in good hands. What do you think about this upcoming NCIS spin-off series set in Australia? Will you be watching it or are you done with NCIS altogether after all these years? Let us know down in the comment section below. And that's the end of the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed this latest video. If you did, would you please let us know down in the comment section below. It would be very helpful. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel with the notification bell rung. Thanks for watching today's video. Bye!